man expecting to be tied up and have sex with young woman attacked with hatchet instead. Fellas, we really got to do a better job of keeping our kinks and our deep desires to ourselves. It's okay to have secrets sometimes because telling someone that you're going to tie them up and have sex with them down on the beach has to be far more appealing than that barnacle face four that sold them the dream in the first place. It was the song, not the singer. She looks like like Dean Ambrose back when he used to wrestle with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. A man expecting to have sex with a young woman after allowing her to tie him up on the beach was instead attacked with a hatchet according to a Volusia County Sheriff's Office report. That's a hell of a way to kill the mood. The attack occurred near 1900 Ocean Shore Boulevard in Ormond by the Sea at 8.34 p.m. on Wednesday. Alana Cagle, 18 of Daytona Beach. 18 is very young but is still over old enough to know that this is very wrong tying someone up and trying to assault them with a hatchet and her boyfriend Wayne Streeter out of the bum we'll get into him in a second of Ormond Beach were each charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon both suspects were released from the Volusia County Branch Jail on $5,000 bail talk about the stupid leading the stupid most men take their girls to top golf they take them to a movie or maybe something to eat he got her out there on a whole dummy mission on the front line looking to set someone up like this is date night like this is what relationships entail when you are a couple this man could have been a whole serial killer that snatched your woman up never to be seen again all i'm saying is people with jobs don't have time to do stuff like this the victim said that he agreed to come to the beach with alana cagle so that she could tie him up on the beach and have sex with him according to a charging affidavit i can only assume that he didn't know her that he was a stranger to her because if he was familiar with her then he would know that she had a man and I do use the term man very loosely the victim said he started getting odd vibes this whole situation is nothing but an odd vibe from Kegel who sat five feet from him and then started tying his legs with a piece of yellow rope the victim said he did not feel comfortable so he told Kegel he had changed his mind oh nobody it's too late for that at that moment Streeter appeared according to the narrative of the arrest report being propositioned by a meh looking woman to have sex on the beach would be mildly interesting i guess but once it comes to tying someone up especially after we just heard about sarah boone zipping her boyfriend in a suitcase and leaving him to suffocate putting someone in handcuffs tying someone up or putting someone in a confined area where they can't move around these things have to be considered very carefully they have to take priority before going on to get your nuts out of the sand pun intended the victim began to untie his legs but Kegel jumped on his legs she already looks like Smeagol this must have been a goddamn nightmare for this guy he fought her off and ran with Streeter giving chase tackling the victim to the ground Streeter choked the victim until he could hardly breathe according to the report Kegel started punching the victim the report detailed the victim told the deputy that he observed Alana with what appeared to be a hatchet as she was striking him all over the victim said he fought for his life as you should and escaped the beating running onto Ocean Shore Boulevard where he saw a deputy's patrol car. The deputy who picked up the victim reported seeing a shirtless man bleeding heavily from one leg and other parts of his body frantically shouting and waving at cars on Ocean Shore Boulevard. The victim had multiple cuts to his abdomen, kneecaps, shins, and a deep cut on the upper left part of his back. The victim was transported to Advent Health Daytona to be treated for his injuries. This story is still very early so it's light on the details but what sticks out to me is that there doesn't appear to be any robbery attempt with these stories about setups all the stories that I've caught about setups there's always some sort of robbery attempt involved and this one doesn't seem like there was any rhyme or reason that they were just looking for someone to harm like an ashy joker and ugly Harley. Cagle and Streeter were arrested shortly after the incident in a traffic stop. Blood and the victim's backpack were found in the vehicle now did they have the victim's belongings because the victim left them behind when they were running and they were just collecting evidence or was it really a robbery I really don't know at this point at the scene of the attack deputies found the yellow rope a t-shirt a hat and a sheath for a hatchet investigators also found blood a hatchet is a is a really odd tool to use on a robbery though investigators also found blood on a beach walkway and in the park where the victim ran Kegel asked for a lawyer and declined to speak with deputies 
Streeter said she was picked up by Cagle to go to the beach and that he didn't know how the victim got on the beach. You were behind the whole thing. Stop it. Allegedly. He claimed the victim had pushed Cagle down and that prompted Streeter to punch him in the face. After the fight, he and Cagle drove off. He said, there you have it, kids. Alana Cagle and Wayne Streeter. Does this seem like a robbery going wrong or does it seem more like they were really out to just harm someone? Let me know what you think.